So over the last few years, I've learned that this one piece of equipment has really saved my bacon probably on a number of times. Stick with me, I'll tell you all about it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Please subscribe, uh, there's a little button just by here somewhere. If not, just scroll in the video, there's a little subscribe button, give that a smack and um, let me know what you think of the videos. It'll be great to have a little bit of feedback off you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the piece of equipment that I try and make sure this in my bag every single time I go out for an astrophotography shoot. It is, it is, a lens heater. Um, it's a lens strap that you pop around your camera lens. It keeps your lens warm and stops your lens from misting up with condensation. This is an excellent bit of kit. The one that I use is not sponsored or anything, this channel. The one I use is from uh, Kuwu, Kuwu, Kuwu. Um, this was off Amazon. Um, I'll pop the link underneath. I'm not affiliated to it and I don't get any kickbacks off it. Um, but I found it to be a, a cracking, cracking bit of kit. Was. So here's the lens strap. So what you'll do is uh, you will connect this into a USB power bank. And then with this dangling down somewhere else, you then wrap this around your lens. Let me get a lens. So <clears throat> you wrap this around the lens. Just make sure you can see this. And we will do this and this and this and this. And there we go. Basically what this will do then is it will keep the lens warm and prevent any cold air misting up onto the warmer lens. Kind of spoiling your whole evening really. And uh, I'm sure that'll piss you off because it pissed me off more than a few times. I think this was about 20 quid. I'll, I'll, I'll put the current price in, but I think I paid about 20 quid for it. So there have been a number of times when I've gone to a location, I've set up all my gear, the tripod's out, the slider's out, the cameras are out, I'll have two things going at once. I'll go and sit in the car and I'll watch a film. You know, in between checking the cameras. And I have gone back to the cameras at the end of the session and the lens is totally fogged. Now, two things. One, I'm sat in a car and I should be paying more attention, but I'm probably freezing my box off. And the second thing is, um, I should have had one of these because it wouldn't have happened. On this particular one, I've got three settings. Now, whether I can focus on that, I don't know whether you can see that, so is a kind of low, medium and high setting. I've probably only used it ever on medium. Um, I haven't been out really when it's absolutely, you know, kind of freezing, freezing, freezing cold. Um, but I've been out when it's been like kind of minus one, minus two. And it's more than, it's more than done it. It's more than done the job to be honest. Um, it is a cracking bit of kit. For 20 quid to be safe in the knowledge that you're going to be without images with condensation built up on your lens is top draw and I recommend one. So this model is the Kuwu, it was off Amazon, I'm really not sure of uh, the delivery schedule for Amazon um, on this, I haven't looked, I will link but um, I do know that obviously under these current times in the UK, um, there is some delay with um, non-essential items. Do I recommend this? Hell yeah, hell yeah I do. Um, definitely, 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 definitely. If you're serious about being out all night, get yourself a dew shield, get yourself an lens heater. It's more than worth it, more than worth it. You know, yes, you won't find out if, it, if it's helped you because you won't have any problems with your photos. So I think that speaks for itself really. I think. If I take the camera and the tripod and the batteries and everything else that goes along with it and the cards, etc., etc., if I haven't got this and it all misses up, it's tits up, innit? Cracking. Cracking. I don't think I'm saying 
to be honest, a lot now. I think I'm saying cracking a lot. So the negative point of the lens heater is the fact that when you do put that around your lens, you could knock off your focus. So like me, if you've set up your camera rig, you've manually focused on a star. If from there then you put your lens heater on, you could knock it off focus. Get to a location, set everything up, get the lens heater, put it on the lens, then acquire focus. It gets so tight on the lens that you can, you can still acquire focus. So I mostly use this on my Samyang 14mm, a manual lens. So if I was going to use it on any lens with an automatic focus, then that would be flicked onto manual before I'd done anything anyway. So really excited about this. I had a delivery today and I ordered this a few weeks ago and I know it's going to turn my astrophotography on its head a little bit. So I've actually ordered a star tracker. The one I went for in the end was the move, shoot, move. I've gone for this one because of its portability. I can't wait to give it a try. So at the moment in Wales, we're still locked down. So I'm unable to travel anywhere to take any photos of the Milky Way and all of its goodness and silkiness and deliciousness. Nice, if that's a word. So over the next few days, I think we're forecasted some nice weather. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to try this out in the backyard. So in the last video, link here, I took an image of some star trails over a mountain with a TV mast. I think I'm gonna repeat that image with the star tracker this time. I'm gonna do a four minute exposure for the sky and a four minute exposure for the landscape and then blend those two images together to see my final result. I've never used a star tracker before and I've never done this, so this for me is gonna be a wicked challenge. So I will let you know how I get on with that one. So that's the end of the video, guys. Not a long video, I know. So I will see you next Saturday, next Saturday, nine o'clock. I'm not entirely sure what I might do. Not that I mind, but I think if quarantine continues for the next seven months, I may be stepping in for the big man. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Mind you, with a ho, ho, ho like that, I think I'll be selling sweet corn. I'm not going wrong with gifts. See you next Saturday. If I can ask you to please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of my misadventures. Wow, exciting, eh? It's all good stuff. Tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like. It's great to have your feedback.